We have updated our call to action feature within Thrive Architect. Now our call to action element has dozens of conversion focused templates that you can use on your site anywhere. With just a couple of clicks, you can add them to your blog posts, landing pages, sales pages, and more. Being able to rapidly deploy call to actions on different places on your site is a very good way to grow your online business. And here at Thrive Themes, we made it even easier than before with our new call to action templates. In this video, I'm going to give you four effective ways in which you can use the call to action templates on your site. This is Colin from Thrive Themes. And in use case number one, I'm going to show you how you can add a call to action template to one of your blog posts so that it links over to your sales page. And this is a great way to drive traffic to your online course. Here I have loaded up as a blog post, just a very standard post. And I want to point out a couple things. So we have blue as our basic branding colors here, and there's nothing special about this post, a couple images and some text. Now, what we want to do here is find a call to action template that would help take our readers and drive them over to our online course sales page. So a couple things to remember here. When you're gonna add a template into your post, do not put it in the beginning. The last thing a reader wants is right after the first paragraph is some kind of form or pop-up in the way. And at the end of the post, that's also not really helping you too much because not a lot of people are gonna see it. The sweet spot is right in the middle of the post. So here's a good spot that we have here. And I'm just going to go to the add element section and I'm just gonna search for call to action. So if you search anything, within the elements tab, you can find it just by searching it. So I'm just gonna drag it here and drop it right where we want it. Okay, now we've made dozens of different templates that you can choose from and they're very easy to make fit your branding colors, the style or anything on your site. So we're gonna pick one here and make some changes to it. So now that we have the form loaded in, let's get into the editing of it right now. I'm gonna start by editing the background color to match our blue branding colors we have up top. So to do that, I would just make sure I would select the call to action form. Now you see here, I actually clicked on the content box, but within Thrive Architect, you can navigate anything via the breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna go back a couple of steps to get to the call to action. Now I'm going to go to background style and we're gonna make this blue. There we go, apply the changes. And next thing we're gonna change here is this border around the image. Now to change it, I'm gonna select the content box where this border is, and I'm going to go to borders and corners. And what we're gonna do here is a pretty cool little trick. So the red doesn't match very well with the brand, but I don't wanna take the time to necessarily find the perfect blue, but we're just gonna do a cool little trick here. I'm going to select the same color blue we have for the background, and you wanna move the color just a little bit to the left or right to kind of have an off blue. This helps the image kind of pop off the page a little bit. Now, why would you want this image to kind of stand out? Well, this image is actually where you should put the featured image or the cover image for your online course. So now let's go ahead and replace this image here. So I'm just gonna select the image and underneath main options, just easily replace it here. And there we go. We're gonna select this image here we already have pre-made, insert, and there we go. So now we have the cover image for our online course and we have one last thing to change here. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see this arrow and it's technically an icon and we want it to match a little bit so it's not red. We're gonna make it white. And to do that, we're just going to navigate to the main options and a quick little cheat code for Thrive Architect is if you wanna just make it white, you can just do FFF in the hex code section. You don't have to add the hash or anything. Do that and press apply and there you go. And the last step we have to do here as far as the design goes is changing the copy. Now, changing any text within Thrive Architect is super easy. You just have to select the text element and you can backspace, add anything and make it anything that you want. So let's quickly change the copy to something that's a little bit more enticing. There we go. Now we've changed our copy to something much more enticing. And now we're on to the final step. And that is linking the button to the sales page of your online course. So it only takes a couple of clicks to do this. We're gonna select the button. And again, we ended up clicking on the text, but you can just navigate it via the breadcrumbs to go back to the button. And what I'm gonna do here is it's already selected underneath the main options tab is we're just gonna set the target URL 
to whatever your course would be. For our case, we'll just do Thrive Themes. And there we go. That's all done. We have our button successfully linked and this is now ready to start driving your readers to your online course sales page. Use case number two. I'm gonna show you how you can use the call to action templates to build your mailing list from your blog post. Now, I'm just gonna use the same blog post here as an example. So when you're going to insert a call to action template to build your mailing list, a lot of the same rules apply as to linking to your sales page. You're not gonna to wanna to put it right at the top nor at the bottom either. You're gonna want it to be right in the middle where there's a gap. So we're gonna go back to the same spot and I'm going to simply go over to the add an element button and type in call for call to action and I'm gonna drag and drop it right where I want it. Now we're gonna pick a template here that makes sense for building your mailing list. So here we go. Now that we have the template loaded, I'm not gonna show you how to customize it like we did before. I'm just gonna get right into the most beneficial feature of this. You're able to connect any of the call to action templates directly with the opt-in forms you built in your Thrive Leads account. So in order to do that for this example, we want the reader to be able to click on the send it button and a light box pops up right away. So in order to do that, you want to select the button and over here in the style panel, go to animation and action. Now you're gonna notice there's already a link option here. You're just gonna to wanna to simply delete that. There we go, now there's no animations here. Now, in order to get the pop-up, we want to select pop-ups. It's the second option here. If you hover over, you'll see that. And what you wanna make sure is you select the second option that is open Thrive Leads Thrive Box. Now this is where you can search by name for any of the opt-in forms or light boxes you've built within your Thrive Leads account. So we already made one here and I'm just gonna select that one, apply the changes, and we're going to save that. Here's what this looks like on the front end now. When the reader clicks the send it button, we have this light box that pops up right away. So you can see how this is a really efficient way to build your mailing list and help turn those very precious readers into valuable subscribers for your business. Use case number three, how to use the call to action templates to spice up your landing pages. Here we have a very simple thank you or success page. Now, there's nothing special about this page. Someone who would end up getting here was either someone who was reading your blog or somewhere on your site, and they opted in for a free giveaway or a content upgrade that you had on your site. Now, this page does one thing. All they can do is download whatever they opted in for. But we wanna add a call to action form to the bottom of this page because this person isn't just a casual reader. They took the time to opt into your mailing list, and this person is a prime candidate to buy your online course. So let's add in a form right now and I'll show you how that looks. Again, all you have to do is go to the add element tab and we're gonna search call to action and we're just gonna drag this below the social share and we're going to load in a template that makes sense for this one. Now that we have the template loaded, I wanna show you a few design things that you can do to make this template even better. First thing we're gonna change here is the border. Well, what appears to be a border. So this actually, isn't what it looks like. Technically, this is a background section. This gives the effect of the white for the template kind of lifts off the page just a little bit. This gives a really cool kind of shadow effect and kind of helps your form stand out a little bit more. And in order to edit that though, we have to go to the background style instead of the borders and corners. So we're gonna make this red from the template. And just a quick aside, if you're using the smart landing page and the smart technology we have within Thrive Architect, we already have the template colors saved. So you don't have to find the perfect red and spend time matching the colors. It's already there. So we're just gonna select the red from the template and it matches perfectly. Now that we have that color changed, the next step is to deal with this button. Now, a very good design principle is just consistency. And in order to get that, we're gonna do the simplest way possible by just deleting this button and we're gonna reuse the button we're using at the top of the page. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to select the button up top here and simply duplicate it. Once that's done, I'm gonna drag it down right where I want it and place the button right here. Now, we're not gonna leave the button as it is. We need to make some slight edits to it, so I'm gonna do those right now. Let's change the icon here by selecting it and simply loading up the icons. And within Thrive Architect, we have Font Awesome included with it. So all the Font Awesome icons are gonna load here. And within Font Awesome, I can simply search for the icon that I want. So what makes sense here is gonna be an arrow, specifically a right arrow. And this one looks good. 
And next step is obviously to change the text. I'm just gonna select that and type in learn more. The last step here is to change the placement of this button. And I'm just going to go underneath the main options and change the alignment to left. Now that we've made the changes to the button, I'm just gonna simply go ahead and change the copy and a couple other design things. And then we can view the finished product right here. Use case number four, how to add a call to action to your homepage. Here we have a pretty standard personal branding homepage. So we have a above the fold section with a very clear call to action and opt-in, have some bullet points here, blog posts, testimonials. And you notice here at the bottom, there is a, another opt-in form. Now, normally this would be a great place to put another opt-in form on your homepage, but let's say that you're running a seven day launch for your new online course. Well, you may want to maximize sales instead of maximizing email subscribers. So in this case, we're actually going to replace this opt-in form for one of the call to action templates. What we're going to do is go to the add element again, search for it, and we'll just drag it in. I'm going to select another one of our dozens of templates here. Now I'm just going to hover over the opt-in form and simply delete it. We have a bunch of design tweaks to make to this template, but let me show you one that you haven't seen yet. And you'll notice one thing, the font of this headline here, start your 14 day trial, doesn't match the font of the rest of the site. Now, how would you change that? Well, you could go in and search the font and do it manually, or you could simply select the text element here and underneath main options, you can edit the font. Now where the source has, you wanna just change it to inherent landing page font. You're done. That's gonna inherit the font that's being used in the rest of the homepage and you don't have to do any other edits to it. After changing the color, the borders, and a few other design tweaks, here is the end result. This template, along with all of our other call to action templates, of course, are designed to look great on mobile as well. If you don't already have Thrive Architect, make sure to check out the first link in the description of this video and get a copy for yourself today. Now it's your turn. I challenge you to implement one of the call to action methods that you learned here in this video on your own website. Tell me in the comments below which method you're most excited to use on your website. And as always, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube so you can get notified when exclusive YouTube only content goes live. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.